morning, 47. Your target is the infamous serial killer known as the Censor. With a flair for the theatrical, the Censor acts as an examiner who grades his victims based on how much they struggle for their lives. The true identity of the Censor is unfortunately unknown, but the discovery of two recent victims indicates he's now exploring Whittleton Creek, Vermont, in search of prey. We only have a limited window of opportunity here, 47. Find the sensor and make sure he never grades anyone again. Best of luck. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and welcome to the Serial Killer Year 2 Elusive Target Contract in Whittleton Creek in Hitman 3. This is the first time we've seen him in Hitman 3, but uh, they're calling it Year 2, even though, like I said, this is the first time. As usual, I'm going to show you three methods for this one because I haven't done it before in Hitman 3. And I'll leave the timestamps in the description for method one though. We are going to use the default loadout. We're starting the Middleton Creek start location. Your default pistol, coin, and fiber wire. Welcome to Vermont 47. So for this default loadout method, I am going to go for the trusty one. I've done this before in the past in Hitman 2. So I don't see any reason why to change it, especially when it just it just works, you know. So what we need to do is poison the target. That's how we're going to take him out. So first and foremost, we need to go and actually grab the poison from Helen West's house, but the door's locked. So we have to go and grab ourselves a crowbar. So if you come over to this construction site in the corner of the area over here, just jump over to this, jump over this barrier, stay crouched as you run through the section and grab the crowbar in the back and around the back. There we go. Delete this railing. Then you want to come over to this house over here. This is Helen West's house. So the gate is open, so you can pass straight through. I'm just going to jump over this barrier right here and use the crowbar on this door that's locked. Just on your left on the table is going to be lethal poison pills. Go ahead and grab that. Next you want to climb the stairs and then jump over the fence. Now we're going to make our way to the party itself where the, the sensor, aka the serial killer, is going to be hanging out. Just gotta run straight there. Now, if you already have some lethal poison pills or lethal poison vial, you can skip that first step and go straight to where I'm heading now, so you can save yourself about a minute and a half. But we are going to use our coins for this next section for a distraction, so that's what we're going to do. This might be the so. place. I just want to make sure this garage is completely closed so no one else is in the room. Once it's clear, go ahead and open the door and throw a coin on the floor. That's going to distract the uh, the server that's just in the kitchen. So we're just going to go ahead and knock him out. And once you've done that, go and drag his body and put him in the nearby crate and then put his disguise on. Once you've done that, go ahead and pull out your coin. Chuck it in the corner of the kitchen, just over there, just to get the enforcer to turn around so you can quickly poison this glass of whiskey with the lethal pills that we acquired earlier. Once we've done that, that's pretty much taken care of. So all we've got to do now is just pretty much wait at an exit. I'm going to put my suit back on just because we've got extra time. You don't have to do that if you don't want to get risk getting spotted. But I always like to uh, put my suit on if it's possible and if we do have time and we do so this takes about a minute and a half of waiting after you've poisoned a glass of whiskey depending on how fast you actually did that first section if you kept up with me it's going to take about a minute or so I'm just going to hang out on this bench right here and read this newspaper until the target is taken care of so obviously I'm going to skip to that point when it's taken care of was an A plus the money is being transferred now to find an exit so once we've exited here we get a, a nice easy sign assassin rating now if this is your first time completing a lucid target you will get the suburban suit with gloves so you can use that on any map and this will also contribute towards your uh, lucid target uh, challenges I've just completed my 15th there we go easy sign assassin not too slow, but yeah. But that was method one. 
Now for a slightly faster method, we can go for this. So what we're for method two, we're going to go for the brave case, the remote, or the remote emetic gas device. I'm going to bring along a lethal syringe and we're going to start in the default start location. So this method is as easy as you like. It's basically just we need to arm the device first of all, foremost. So take the gas device out of the briefcase and then conceal it back into the briefcase and that will arm it inside the briefcase. So we can essentially set off this gas device now while it's in the briefcase. So that's really cool. So what we need to do is basically run straight to the target and then gas him. So what you want to do is pull out your remote after you've armed the device. If we run straight to the house, he should be coming in through the back door. So once he comes through, here he is. Just go ahead and gas him. A big green puff of gas in his face. He's going to go to the bathroom. Now you might have someone in the bathroom. If there is, just wait for them to leave before you come and do this. Leave. Once the coast is clear, just go ahead and use the lethal poison. And there we go. And once you've done that, you can head to any exit you like. And you'll get a nice easy start in Assassin. There's no real drama there, no real dangers. Like I said, you have got some people frequently coming in and out of the bathroom. That's why I don't recommend drowning him or any other method there in that bathroom. Because it's just too risky. It just takes too long. So you may as well just use the syringe and quickly get it over with, you know. But once you've exited here through the bus stop, you'll get a nice easy start in Assassin. It's quite quick as well. For method 3, this is probably the easiest one out of all the three of them. It's my favourite one, actually. So what we're going to do is uh, just bring along the Seeker 1 Tranquilizer. If you don't have it, unfortunately you won't be able to do this one. But uh, it is fun to do if you do have the Seeker 1 indeed in your inventory. But if you do, make sure you do bring along this for this one for the Method 3. And what we're actually going to do is get rid of uh, that downstairs bathroom as a location for him. So what we need to do with this Tranquilizer is essentially use the Seeker on somebody else first. And then we're going to use it on the sensor after. You'll see what I mean in a second. So pull out your seeker once you get through this garage. Peek around this door. Shoot this server right there. He's going to head through the bathroom. He fakes coming this way first. I don't know why. But he's going to head to the bathroom. We'll have one more shot left on our seeker. So go ahead and shoot our target. He can't go to that bathroom anymore because it's now occupied. So he's going to go to any remaining bathroom that's in the area, so he'll go to the next closest one. And that indeed is going to be upstairs, so that gives us um, gives us the ability to do whatever we want with him, because he's all alone. So you can fiber wire him, you can shoot him, you can do what you want. It's yours to choose your uh, your method. So this isn't the quickest way, but I think it's the easiest way. I'll take out this target. There's no risks at all. There's only one closet up here, if I remember correctly, so if you do want to hide his body, go ahead and do that, but you'll have to drag it through across two rooms, so you're better off just drowning him, really, because uh, even if anybody comes up here, which I don't think they do, I haven't actually checked, so don't quote me on that, um, even if they do, if it's an accident kill when you're drowning him, even if his body's found, it's not going to count against your silent assassin rating because with poison kills and accident kills, they don't negate your silent assassin score. That's the, the beauty of accident kills and uh, so poison kills. So we're going to take the bus stop exits and uh, yeah, silent assassin for uh, method three as well. So overall, that's how you take care of the serial killer. So. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video if it did help you out. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description. Let me know your thoughts in the comments of what you thought about this little target and which method did you choose to do. Which method is your favourite? I'm always curious to know which ones you followed, which ones your favourites. Again, thank you very much for all your support recently. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.